Hey guys, this is Sispawn, and after a very long absence, I am back to Let's Play again, I think so. Let's continue on with my Galecki campaign. This should be episode 11, and if I remember correctly, well, I just watched the last episode to refresh myself, I was about to attack the Romans up in northeastern Spain. And I was fighting the Carthaginians down around Carthago Nova. So, let's get right to it as soon as this loads here. I remember I was trying to draw the Romans out from their little river crossing. And if they're still there, I kind of thought of a strategy to get them to make the first move so I don't have to force my way across. So, we'll see how it works. Probably going to take a second to refresh myself here as soon as we're in. And I'll try to keep that as short as possible, and then we'll get moving. So, yep, here I am with the Romans still sitting there. So, I'll take care of that in just a moment. Still have this army here. I need to retrain with the Carthaginian force there and start the script. Um, yeah, my next army. Just about done here. Next turn, they'll be ready to go. I'm going to make one little unit there to garrison my city as well. And I don't think there's too much need to wait any longer here, so... Alright, yeah, we'll try this out, see if it works. I'm going to set this unit of cavalry right here. And put this army right behind it. So hopefully they'll take the bait and attack this small army and then I can just use this other one as reinforcements and fight the battle there but that way they'll be attacking me and thus off that river crossing. So we'll try that out and see if it works. If not, well, it didn't really lose anything but if it does that'll save us some trouble. Okay, now I don't think there's anything I really need to do left to end the turn here but let me double check. I have my diplomat here. That's right, they're on their way to Armenia. So we'll go try to chat with them here. Yes, my lord. Alrighty. Should have a town around here. No. Oh, no. I think Van is right here, so we'll head there. I know they have more in this area, but at least I know for sure where that one is. And my spy is just here keeping an eye on the Romans. I don't want to see if they have anything else in the area, so... Nope. The Greeks have an army, and I think they're still allied with Rome, if I remember correctly. Let me check. Uh, yeah, the Ro Romans are allied with Sparta and Greece, so we may be fighting the Greeks here, but I don't think we're actually at war with them yet, so it really depends on them. Anyways, uh, let's waste no more time. Go ahead and... S uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the turn here. <sighs> Alrighty. It is good to be back. I know I had a really long absence in between episodes here. I kind of took a break from Alpine and... Oh, did they back off completely? Um, oh no, they did not, they just bypassed me. Yes. Okay, that's cool too. I'm fine fighting them in the open plains here. And it does look like the Greeks are just following them around. I don't know what their... their deal is, but that's alright. Anyways, I am rolling in cash here. I almost need to make a, uh, a fourth army. Let's take care of some building here, first of all. Berea. Let's see. It's got decent happiness. So... Let's go ahead and get it a regional focus. I have the cash. Mirabriga. We'll go ahead and... Oh, that's a monument based on regional focus. There we are, regional focus. 
that's pretty vital. We'll fill that everywhere we can unless it needs something else really urgently. Bicor. Um, it's not doing bad. We'll go ahead and fill this. It gives a little more public order anyways. In Carthago Nova. Train them. Not that that really matters, but let's go ahead and get a small garrison here. And Shrine Complex. I want to raise the public order so if I move my big garrison and governor out, it'll still hold its own so I don't have to move it to low taxes or anything here. Okay. More troops built to the Wow. Get another spy brigantine in as well as all my troops here, so we can close that out. Ah, that spy's path is blocked. That's no big deal. Lord. This spy is going to head down this way, I think. Let's see. Okay, yeah. Nothing too crazy down here. We'll worry about that in a moment, though. I think, first of all, I'm just going to go ahead and merge him with the rest of my army. Might as well. And let's come fight these Romans. I'm going to go ahead and save the game here in case it crashes. And let's get ourselves a battle. Alright. I'm not going to bring that man. I don't want to lose a governor for no reason. Alrighty. Looks like they only have about three units of cavalry, this one's so depleted it doesn't matter, and then their general. Alright, we'll deal with them. Let's go. It is right to learn even from the enemy. Enemy. Open. We'll see what we learn. All right. Go ahead and set the army up here. And you may notice the uh, troops go to sprites a little earlier. It's because I turned the high res unit models off in the launcher. That will lower the uh, graphics quality slightly, but it does allow me to have more armies on the field at once, and um, that's pretty handy because of some of my other campaigns, I'd have a lot of um. Actually, we'll just put this in front. I'd have a lot of battles that would get really, really laggy if I had more than one army of mine on the field, or even more than one of the enemies, so this will help us uh, be a lot less limited in our play here. Let's see, we're just going to go ahead and put these four over here, change it up a little bit. I don't really have to worry about enemy skirmish caps, so I'm not worried about splitting them up. And then we'll put those mercenaries over here to augment our heavy cap force. And move my general up a little bit. Honestly, I'm probably going to make this line a little wider. They have a lot of infantry. So we will... I think we'll still leave two in reserve. Up there. Oops, sorry about the interruption there. I just had a quick phone call from someone. I'm going to turn my phone ringer down so that doesn't happen again smooth. Alrighty, but I'm just going to finish setting up this army here really quickly and we'll be good to go. Shake away well, the ring. Yeah, a little refuse the flanks a little bit. Alright, I think that is going to be good enough. 
Oops. That's no big deal. And let's get going. Fresh warriors have arrived. Perhaps it is the time to send them to kill the enemy. All right, the Romans are right over here, moving this way. Looks like they've got some natives with them. Native spearmen and swordsmen, maybe. Yep, that's what it looks like. Oh, the swordsmen I think are from uh, Basilia. Yep. All right. Well, I will go ahead and speed this up, and uh, we'll get to the battle here. Oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, stop, stop. For the love of God, stop. I did not want to respond. It looks like they're actually going to here. Yeah, so... Change of game plan. They're setting up all their cavalry over here. I thought they were trying to attack me on the flank or something for a minute. But they're just going to try to set up on this little ridge. Like, that'll give them some big advantage. Anyways, I'm just going to cut off the recording and get back to you when this is all set up and the action's going to start, so... Alright, I'm pretty close to commencing the battle here. Just a quick aside, <laughs> when I looked at the enemy's army before the battle, I forgot to recheck and uncheck my reinforcement box a few times, so it did the little glitch where it brings my reinforcements even though I told them not to. So, no big deal, they're not close to the battle yet. By the time they get here... The enemy should pretty much be fully engaged anyways, so let's go ahead and uh, get this started. I think I'm going to go ahead and try to take out their cavalry as early as possible. Take them out of the equation. While the rest of my army just kind of marches up here. So yeah, let's do that. And let's just go ahead and swarm these guys. I'm going to turn my javelins on the skirmish cap unit off. I don't want friendly fire. Alright, sweet. They're bringing the rest of their cavalry this way. and Actually realigning their whole army. That's perfect. Hit them while they're disorganized. Oh wow, they're really, really along the back edge of the map here. alright. Let's get this going. Taking some javelin damage here. Oh. Okay, yeah, no, that's good. Alrighty. I need to swing my cavalry around back here if I can. Come on, I don't want you to get engaged. This way. Crap. There we go. If I can swing around the back and hit, help out my cavalry over here, that'd be great. Oh, they're even bringing in some infantry. Let's cut them off. What is that guy doing? Fighting on the edge of the map, you just get so confused. Anyways, let's charge into the back here. And as far as the infantry battle goes, um, it's kind of sporadic here at the moment. Of the enemy army is running like a stock uh, of goats. All right. Them. Goats make good eating. Let's bring in my reserves here to plug the gap. I have no idea what these guys are doing. So let's just bring them back for the moment. I'm just going to have these guys hold this flank. This cavalry protect them on this side. Let's get back to that other flank and see what's going on here. 
Alright, looks like I won the cavalry engagement here. And I need to kind of back off here a little bit before my cavalry gets engaged. Let's run them out of here. And start bringing my reserves, because this flank is getting pretty heavily hit. No, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Fight! Alright, this could be going worse. This is actually good. We're getting them all engaged here. So, I'm going to try to start getting some rear charges in if I can. What's my general doing? here. Alright. Go ahead and get up here. We'll give him some more morale. Support for my troops. To his horn. I hate it when it does that. It puts guard mode on my cavalry for some reason. Anyways, let's move over here. And on this side, I'll set up a charge right here. Try to free this flank up as much as possible. Yeah, their infantry is kind of chewing mine up, but they have a downhill advantage, so that's more or less expected. Uh, these guys really need to get off guard mode and attack. Anyways, my heavy cavalry charge right here. <laughs> Those mercenaries pretty much got slaughtered, that's alright. They're just cannon fodder. These guys come over here. And let's give them a charge. Or two. Alright, looks like that charge did the trick. Start chasing these guys down. Anyone still fighting here? Yeah, these Nope, they're actually running. Alright. I think we're good as far as morale support, so we're going to chase them down with my general and bring my cavalry in to help here in the middle. Get out of the way. Alrighty. We need to charge. Oh, they broke already, so let's charge them down. See if we can't finish them off here. I think we've pretty well got this battle in the bag. We took pretty heavy casualties, but fighting the Romans, I pretty much expected that, especially since they camped on that hill. Make sure guard mode's off and everyone so they start chasing down the routers. I think everyone's pretty much being chased down here. Yeah, 95% casualties. Just a bunch of small units all over, so... Keep track of them. The enemy army run. All right, now I'll go ahead and down. see the results screen here. The enemy are in full flight. All and right, that's the yours. battle there. Uh, pretty good victory. Looks like the center line of my infantry took some pretty heavy losses, but definitely dealt a lot more to them than they did to us here. So, yeah, let's get right back to it. In times of war, it is better to give battle with half as many infantry as the enemy and an overwhelming force of cavalry than to be in all respects his equal, Polybius. I would agree. I definitely uh, like the cavalry. Gives a lot more shock value even though your infantry contingent can be a little more hard pressed. 
mean, we still have this Greek army here, but, um, I'd like to retrain my guys. I don't know if for sure if they're going to attack, and if they do, I can hold out for a turn and get my army right back. But, um, let me check and see where if I can retrain any of these guys closer. I'm probably just going to have to go back to, all the way back to Brigantian. For a lot of them, since this is my main army here. That's unfortunate. I really need to get some more training centers built up, but I don't know if I have any cities big enough at the moment. <laughs> wow, we're really uh, depopulating Brigantium with all the uh, training here. That's alright, I'll just increase the, uh, the population growth there with a couple buildings and it'll be just fine. So yeah. Well, that's alright. We can always bring the second army if we need it. In fact, I think that's what we're going to do. We'll let these guys wait a turn or two until we have our actual enemies out of the way. Rebels don't really fight back much. General. Leaving. Move! Ambushing place! Yes! General! Alrighty. So we'll just kind of cycle these guys out. And... Probably try to make a push to kick the Romans out of Spain here. As soon as I take care of this Greek army one way or the other. Really quickly, we're going to switch to my diplomat. Try to talk to Armenia here. Yes, my lord. Oh, there's an Armenian... I will talk to you. Captain, that's good. Trade rights, map information, and map information. Let's see what they say. Alright, they accept. Nothing big, a little more than what Pontus had, but uh, yeah. Now we can see a little bit more of the world. And let's talk to the Seleucids. Alright, and... I think that was a pretty good uh, bit of time here, so I'm probably going to go ahead and cut off the video. But I will endeavor to make these episodes, you know, more frequently than every five or six months. I'll try to at least get one or two a week. And if I get back into the flow, maybe more more than that. But, uh, yeah, good to be back. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I plan on keep going on this campaign for a while, but uh, we'll see. I don't think I'm going to do World Conquest with the Galeki. I, it's fun to try them out. They're, they're not my my prototypical faction I'd play. I'm more, more a fan of the Greeks. But it's, it's fun to try something new. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.